Blizzard has drivers seeing red, brake light red, streets suffocated by snow, creating a traffic nightmare. Julie Lonchak is live in Boston tonight. And Julie, there will be school in Boston tomorrow, and not every homeowner is happy with the way the cleanup has gone. Because, David, everywhere you go across the city, there are huge piles of snow just like this one. People are walking in the streets, and many are concerned about children at the bus stop who aren't so easy to spot. They actually picked it up out of the street and dumped it over here, and this has to stop. Two full days after the snow stopped falling, it's still accumulating on Shirley Caudet's sidewalk. I'm concerned about the school children. Tomorrow is school. Where are they going to stand? This Dorchester mother paid $150 to have the snow removed, as she's required from her sidewalks and ramps. A few hours later, though, it was back, and then some. I know I'm not the only person who's going through this. But the forklift, they just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. She isn't. I called you first, Channel 4, and then I called the mayor Boston, and they said, oh, we're going to take a look at it, they're going to look at it. And no one's come by. And nobody has come by. It stands some eight feet high in front of her business, in front of a handicap ramp, and in front of the sidewalk. This is ridiculous. The city says it's doing its best. After all, it was the sixth largest snowfall in history. On the first day back for many commuters, all that snow snarled traffic for an almost historic amount of time. The mayor's office is asking for the public's patience. This isn't the first time Shirley Caudette has had this problem, and her patience has about run out. My money is paying for them to move this snow. I'm not paying these people to give me headaches. They got to do better than this. And the city again is saying that Public Works is working around the clock to move and melt the snow. In fact, they plan on melting some 500 tons in the next couple of days. Live in Boston, Julie Lonchek, WBZ News. David. Julie, thank you.